You know, it's going to be a very close race. Uh, I think he's doing better in Florida than people think he's doing, uh, and, uh, but we'll see. I, mean, I don't think he can win if he doesn't win Florida. Senator Marco Rubio speaking to Halle Jackson on Friday about whether Donald Trump can win. Joining us from St. Augustine, Florida, NBC News correspondent Halle Jackson. What's on tap today, Halle? Hey there, Mika. So Donald Trump has a couple of rallies here in Battleground, Florida. This is a state where, listen, you heard Senator Rubio just there say that he doesn't think Donald Trump can win if he doesn't win Florida. It is one of the battlegrounds where Trump is at least pretty close with Hillary Clinton. If you look at some of the new polling, the CBS YouGov battleground tracker, you can see that while he trails her by three percentage points, that is still within the margin of error. And when you talk with Republican operatives outside the campaign, they'll point to that and say, listen, yes, he's trailing, but it's still close and there's still 15 days left. That said, there is a real enthusiasm enthusiasm gap among likely Florida voters. If you look at it, 91% of Democrats here in the state support Hillary Clinton, but that number is only 82% of Republicans who support Donald Trump. So she does have more excitement, at least when you look at the numbers, uh, more intensity around her campaign. And Tim Kaine is kind of capitalizing on this. He was here in Florida yesterday. He was in Orlando. And he basically, if you can pull it up on screen, he called it uh, a checkmate essentially, that Florida is checkmate. So both sides, the Democrats and the Republicans, are setting the stakes really high. What you're seeing that's interesting, when you look at somebody like a Senator Rubio, who's obviously up for re-election in the state, uh, the, the, the game has now shifted for the Democrat side, right, to try to pump up these down-ballot senators, uh, maybe not Rubio's challenger, but in other states where it's closer, in Pennsylvania, for example, in New Hampshire. Uh, Donald Trump is doing the same, but in kind of a more tepid way. Here was his sort of push when he was at his rally over the weekend for those down-ballot races. Listen. If you elect me, along with the Republican House and Senate, we will also immediately repeal the Obama-Clinton defense sequester. With the Republican House and Senate, we will immediately repeal and replace the disaster known as Obamacare. It's a disaster. A Republican House and Senate can swiftly enact the other items in my contract immediately. But you have to get out and vote. And that includes helping me reelect Republicans all over the place. I hope they help me, too. Be nice if they help us, too, right? And that end right there, that was a very uh, Trump-esque ending to his, his soundbite there, right? The idea that, hey, I'll help them, but if they, if they help us, too, they should be helping us out as well. That is something that Hillary Clinton does.